एवरीवन दिस इज योर होस्ट जसलीन खनूजा फ्रॉम लिमरमोर हु इज एट द रिसेप्शन दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय रमनीक एंड सिमरन थिन फॉर एंबेसडर तरनजीत सिंह संधु हु इज एंबेसडर ऑफ इंडिया इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड हैज कम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम वाशिंगटन डीसी टू मीट एंड ग्रीट द पीपल ऑन द वेस्ट कोस्ट एंड एड्रेस देयर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इश्यूज to make them more aware about the achievements that india has made and how indo us ties have come out stronger than ever we are meeting at a very important juncture for both our countries as you know that we are celebrating 75th anniversary of india's independence uh, as uh, the council general mentioned azadi ka amrit mahotsav plus there is another occasion this is the 75 years of establishment of relations between independent india and united states welcome to your india tv and let us know like uh, what's the purpose of your visit well i have come from washington dc and this is very much part and parcel of my jurisdiction i have of course come to the bay area to meet the people and we also had a ceremony in san diego where an indian ship had come and jointly the us and indian navy held an independence day function together in his speech he clearly mentioned that prime minister narendra modi has also come a long way in making these relationships stronger and despite the covid era despite covid in last year 2021 he was able to meet president biden at least 3 times in person and at least 8 times virtually which is remarkable at least in my own memory i have seen president clinton successful visit subsequently president george w bush then president obama president trump and now we have a very deep relationship with the current administration too i'm sure you should not be surprised that despite the covid prime minister modi and president biden have met four times in last one and a half years in person in addition eight times they have met virtually you know we have a cabinet committee of security which has four members three of them were visiting united states that's the importance which united states has in indian thinking you are also aware that at the request of the president india has joined the indo pacific economic framework in tokyo this is the next generation of economic relations between like minded countries and in september my commerce minister is coming to take part in the ministerial meeting which is taking place in la so such exercises have continued despite the pandemic and despite the fact that there is no fta between united states and india last year we have had record trade between our two countries he talked about the increasing trade investment and other policies and mutual favorable stuff that is going on between the two nations and he also talked about innovation which has taken place in india that can benefit especially the vulnerable section of society in the united states like the covid vaccine which is extremely special and he talked about how it can be stored in room condition and can be easily portable if we just look at covid related vaccines 
Today there are three vaccines which are joint products of United States and India. I will mention one of them to you. There is a vaccine called Corbavax, which has been developed by Baylor College. Many of you watch CNN, you would have watched this doctor with bow and tie, Dr. Hotis. Many times he is commenting there. He and his team have evolved this vaccine and it is being bulk produced in India. The cost of this vaccine is just $1.5 and it can be stored and moved in normal temperatures. Similarly, the second area in which many of you are involved is what is IT, digital, startup, innovation. I'm not going to go at all in any of these details because all of you know. And today we talk about new and emerging technologies. United States and India are working very closely together. 5G, Internet of Things, cyber security, etc. etc. The third area is environment, energy basket. I don't know if many of you know that five years ago we did not have a single dollar of trade between us. Today, India is taking about $50 billion worth LNG from the United States. Similarly, California is known for its renewables. The biggest market for renewable energy, in particular solar, battery technology, it is India. And there is a huge collaboration going on between our two countries. He also gave a strong advice to Indo-Americans, how they can be more giving and how they can connect their children to the roots and the motherland. There are 70,000 plus startups in India. You may be aware that Every week, we have a very successful startup in India. I think this also should not surprise you, but it surprises many Americans. In India today, in the rural sector, we have 350 million internet users in the rural center. In the urban, we have another 290 million. Look at the scope of where the penetration can take place. And look at the scope of the market that can come. I can tell you, many in the West have not missed that. Similarly, there are highest number of digital payments that are happening in the world is in India, 40% of them. Therefore, there are big market opportunities. A lot of investments are going in. US is one of the biggest investors. So, if your children are connected with India, they are aware of India, they will be in unique position to be picked up by many of these multinationals that are moving into India. And again, he suggested them to visit India so that kids feel more connected and he had great ideas for the entire diaspora and particularly for the Sikh Indian Americans and the Punjabi Americans. Sadi Bani Guru Granth Sahib Ji Both aspects are very positive ne. जिने बच्चानू सिखाए जाने चाहिए देने जदों असी गुरुद्वारियां जो व्याख्या कर दें हाँ बहुत जरूरी है कि असी इस चीज दी व्याख्या करिए We should make the next generation draw out the strength from our holy books so that they can face these challenges and don't have to go through psychiatrists and other psychological pressures. 
all in all it was a very successful event people enjoyed and were very excited about uh, his presence uh, applauded his speech and also took pride in taking picture with him Consulate General of India in San Francisco led by Consul General Dr TV Nagendra Prasad also had a great message and he welcomed uh, Dr Sandhu very warmly on this auspicious occasion Overall there were moments of laughter moments of clap moments of silent appreciation and moments of loud appreciation during the event at several times which was very well organized in Livermore by Ramnik and Simran Thind hats off to this wonderful couple who has put up together this wonderful event and brought the diaspora together hope more such events that connect us to india and make us feel proud as indian americans keep happening thanks to ambassador taranjit singh sandhu for his visit here on the west coast and we wish all the indian americans a very happy independence day this is your host jasleen thanuja signing off from livermore for now till next time have a very good time and take very good care of yourselves jai hind